Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here. We've got a fun little video today to show you how you can bring augmented reality into your LearnDash courses. Now, this may sound like something that is far out of your reach as a small business owner. You might imagine that the likes of Google would use augmented reality and create augmented reality quizzes. But what I wanted to show you today was that this technology is available to you and can be used on your courses at relatively low cost. And what we're going to use for it is something called H5P. And if you haven't already watched our H5P video, click on the link on screen now and you'll be able to check out how to install that. It's a great free plugin that allows you to add lots of interactivity to your LearnDash courses. So if you haven't already watched that, please have a watch of that now and then come back onto this video and we'll show you how to get augmented reality set up. So once you've got that installed, what you will find is that you've got the tools to create something like this. So what you can see here is I'm looking at my screen via my phone and we have these little graphics and when you hover over them, you get this message or you can also show a quiz or something else here. And likewise, you can print these little graphics that you create off and have real life printed copies. And when someone looks at them, they'll get a message from your site. So the what we've got is something a bit like a, a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt where people can find certain things on your site, site or outside of it and something different will happen whenever they find a different image. So let's have a look at how we set that up now. So we head to our dashboard and we'll go to H5P content and then we'll add a new one. And what we want to look for is this one called AR Scavenger. And if you don't already have that installed, search for it. And if it isn't installed already, instead of saying details there, it will say get. And you can just click on the get and install it. And that will then install the AR Scavenger content type to your platform. Once we've got it, we can click on details here and then we can click on use and we can start creating our first scavenger hunt. And the way this works is we create little icons uh, that we can either print or put onto pages. And it says the internal resolution of the marker is 16 by 16 pixels. So what you want to create is something that's high contrast, not symmetrical and just made up of 16 by 16 pixels. So ideally just a black and white image. And I found a good way of creating these, and you can use something called pixel art here, P-I-X-I-L art.com. And if we just head over to start drawing, we can create a new drawing. What we want to do is create this as 16 by 16 as per HYP's instructions here, and just create a new drawing and cross off all these ads. What we want to do is just create a simple drawing here. So you can adjust the pixel size of your brush here. And I'm just going to draw something very crude in black and white here. So I was going to draw a face and draw something like that. And then what we can do is to click on download, download the PNG, and that will save to your computer. So we've just created a, a graphic there that we can then use. So once we've created it, here's when I just created there. So I'll just add it and it will create this marker image, which you can then either download as a PNG and you can either, either print it off or put it onto pages like I did previously. So we'll just click download and save that to our computer. And we say what happens once someone accesses that or views it on their phone. We can either add a H5P interaction or a 3D model overlay. If you want to get really fancy, there's these 3D models you can create and put in there. But I'm just going to keep things simple here and just put a simple bit of text to say, well done, you found me. And what will happen there is if anyone scans that or looks at it on their phone, They'll just get a message that pops up like you saw earlier that just says, well done, you found me. But you can also add images when people 
um, find their content or find a find the hotspot activity or a multiple choice quiz, for example. So you could have a quiz if someone finds that. And once you've created it, so I'll just switch this back to text and just have a nice simple message. You can click create. I'll give it a title, sorry. Um, my AR activity. And what you want to do here is copy this bit here that says H5P ID equals five, and then paste that into whatever course uh, you want to put that onto. So I've got this healthy eating for healthy life, and I'm just gonna put it into a, a random topic here. I'm just going to edit the topic, put in my, um, oops, H5P short code there to add the activity. And while I'm here, I might just add that image too. So I'm just going to upload that image that I created here. Make it a little bit smaller here on uh, the display. And then I'll click update. So what I'm going to do now is open my phone and I'm going to head to that course now, the um, Healthy Eating for Healthy Life course. And if I head to the topic, we'll have this activity available here. And if I hover over that image, it will just pop up and say, well done, you found me, which was the message that I added. So you could create some really fun stuff with this, particularly if you've got a you know, platform for kids or something like that, you could create some really fun activities that, that they might be able to use there. So we hope you find this useful and interesting. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Train Spark YouTube channel.